Communication is like the flow of water, right? It's about making things common between two people. It's like throwing the ball to somebody, making sure they catch it. So throwing it with intention for them to succeed and that other person throwing the ball back to you and playing and engaging in a game. So this flow is very deep. I mean, it goes beyond the bricks and mortar or the matter or the subject you're speaking. It's, it has in there the energy of the intention and how much you're keeping the doors open for the other person to express themselves, how much judgment's in it. Uh, it's very, very um, difficult to actually be in a neutral position when you're speaking because most of us come in with an agenda and we want to make sure the other person is going to agree with us. So sometimes it's a win-lose situation or we're trying to prove a point and that might be the case might be needing to prove a point right because that's what business is about um, but I wonder how we could do that in a way where it allows for space you know for the other person to to express themselves to listen because everybody thinks they're right right everybody thinks they're right to some degree to create space where and the belief that whatever's the highest good will work out. Now, how do you do that in business when you're trying to negotiate a deal, like say purchase something at a certain price? Um, I think you can still have your intent, but you can stay very open in your heart and believing that the highest good will happen. Now, it does take a kind of a mindset, a bit of a spirituality mindset there to believe in something higher that's guiding you or perhaps there's a higher purpose in what the discussions are about. But you can feel that from somebody when they're very strong and pushy and what we call egotistic and they have this like, I need to win and unfortunately you're going to have to lose or you're going to need to bow down to my voice because I am the superior one here, okay? So when we're doing that, we're blocking the flow and I was saying that working on yourself your inner communication, how you speak to yourself, will ultimately help how we speak to others. The self-judgment, the self-pressure affects how we communicate and what we expect from others. So it's an internal world affecting the external world. So what we want is that communication to flow where there's space and allowing. You can still go for what you believe you need to do and say, but in your heart of hearts is to stay open with no judgment, no sort of thought, but just the pure communication. So in other words, just do the communication, put it out there, be passionate about it, express it from you know, your intention and treat that as neutral and put it out there and expect a neutral ground for, for that fruition of that communication. So we want the flow, we want the flow. So as we work on ourselves, we also release conversations, we release communication because communication is the only way we actually engage. That's how we play the game, that's how we throw the ball and the ball comes back. Communication is a dialogue and not a monologue and a lot of us are actually having monologues. We're talking to ourselves and we're just pretending that we're talking to others because really it's what I say goes and it comes from our heritage, from our religions there's always one boss, one person that knows everything. And most of us have experienced that in childhood and we've continued to do it. And very few people are at the higher level consciousness where they can just be allowing of others, you know, and allowing their voice to be heard. So some of the ways we can actually utilize this space, which is like a patience, it is. It's a patience. It's a believing that... Um, the other person's voice and where they're coming from is part of the jigsaw puzzle, do you know, and their piece has to be laid down, is to perhaps, if you can, is to defer the conversation. Look, let's let's leave it at that. This is where I'm coming from. I want you to go away and think about it. Let's come back together and let's talk about this again. And engaging in a relationship where those little parts are coming together over time, if you have the space for it, because you want people to also contemplate and feel the energy from where you've spoken from, that they can see that they're not being pushed into something. 
that, you know, that you're just putting it out there and you're really wanting them to participate in the conversation and you're giving them space. Let's get back in an hour or tomorrow or something like that. But there is an accountability to it. But yeah, the patience, because it's a jigsaw puzzle and you're not the only one playing, do you see? There's a piece Mm. that needs to be laid.